All right, what's up, YouTube? So let's address something real quick just to clear things up here. Now, uh, this says Real Gang Stalkers, which is Donovan, is is now, see, he's spreading disinformation here. He's now assisting my brother on spreading the disinformation here. He's saying, I guess this is my brother Ed that's saying this here, the reason that I told you you were being a bad dad was because people kept telling me I need to do something about you dragging your kids into the bar and spending hundreds of dollars on gambling and drinking while your kids went without basic needs like glasses or shoes that fit and didn't have holes in them. Now, he says, I was just relaying the message and you assaulted the messenger, <laughs> like the menace to society that you are. And you're such a good dad, why did Delilah try to get emancipated? You're such a good father, why is Ben constantly in legal trouble? You're... You are just like your father. Taking your daughter's car that she worked hard for and running it into the ground is not good parenting. Making videos embarrassing yourself is not good parenting. Now, let's address some of these things here. <clears throat> so, starting at the beginning here. The night that Ed was telling me I was a bad dad, okay? He not only told me I was a bad dad, but he kept telling me I was a bad dad. Just pointing his finger at me like, like poking you in the chest, right? And what, you, what is somebody supposed to say to that? Okay, Ed. Uh, okay. Jeez, I just didn't see the error of my ways. Thank you for pointing it out. I mean, what the fuck do you expect to happen, Ed? And I said, Ed, just go home. Just go home. And he was drunk. It was the end of the night. And he decides then he's going to gonna back me in a corner and poke his finger in my chest over and over again. So I told him over and over and over and over and over again, at least a dozen times to go home that I was going to knock his teeth out. So Ed, let me explain something to you. Whenever somebody tells you they're going to knock your fucking teeth out and they warn you over and over and over and over again, and you keep poking your finger in their chest, what do you think's going to happen? Anybody's going to do what I did. It's not a menace to society there, buddy. Just letting you know that. So, on to the next thing here. I'm spending hundreds of dollars gambling and drinking while my kids went without basic needs. That is a bold-faced lie. My kids never, never wanted for anything. They've always had their glasses or their shoes. And for some reason, for some reason, every time my son went to his mother's house, his glasses would get broken. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. It, it was becoming such a ridiculous problem that... And the mother her mother never pitched in for glasses or shoes or anything. She never fucking pitched in a fucking penny. She was she was back $13,000 in child support at the time. Okay? And my kids, Ben had brand new shoes, but he wouldn't wear them. He would insist on fucking sneaking out to school in his fucking shoes with holes in them. I don't know why he did that. And it was, it was yeah, it could be embarrassing whenever the teachers are asking him if he needs help buying his shoes and shit. And I got a bitch at him like, Ben, why are you, why are you doing that? Wear are your good shoes? He had good shoes to wear, right? He had glasses and he, he would keep breaking them. Every time I get him a pair, he'd break them, right? And then whenever you go to the eye doctor <clears throat> and they charge you this astronomical amount and it doesn't seem normal, right? But the eye doctor happens to be somebody who's involved in this, right? Rhonda Windiker, right? I go there and... Even though my medical my medical insurance that I have for my kids because I'm such a bad dad um, covers the glasses, um, she I still had to pay four hundred dollars, well three hundred some dollars, on top of what the insurance charged, and that's for like the cheapest glasses she had. Looking into it later on, I realized that no, that was just a fucking ploy. She overcharged me. It was ridiculous. That was it's all part of the plan, right? They do these things and they set these things up so that they can then call you a bad dad, right? Like I said, it seemed like there was a plan to call me a bad dad. It really seemed like there was a plan for that, right? So, uh, and these little things, these are all the little things that they had planned, right? Um, he's relaying the message. You mean you were part of it and you were supposed to make me look like a bad dad is what you're saying. So, oh, Delilah trying to get emancipated. Hey, like I said. It wasn't her that came up with that, right? It was somebody else that put it into her head to say, to look into getting emancipated. Ask her today. Ask her today, you know, how, how she feels about that. There was no reason for it at all. They were doing that just to try to make me look like a bad dad. 
to allow you to get emancipated because of, because I'm a bad dad. See what I'm saying? These are all ploys to try to make me look like a bad dad. And then Ben getting in legal trouble. Yeah. Well, all the all the little things that, that he got in trouble for, right, were absolutely ridiculous. To, to try to make Ben look like a bad person, right? And you can't make this shit up. It's, it's all <clears throat> it's all orchestrated. So, just wanted to point that out. Be good or be good at it.